Hey, it's Adriana, and this is my review of The East. The East is the latest film featuring actress and writer Britt Marling, who is a real revelation in film today. I mean, she is an actress who, I mean, as far as I've read, feels like there aren't enough really good roles for women, so she writes her own films, and she's incredible at it. She's a great actress and a great writer. And The East is the third film, third major film by her that I've seen. If her name isn't familiar, uh, the other films she's done are Another Earth and Sound of My Voice, and The East is her latest, um, which she collaborated on with Zal. Bat Manglage, and they also did Sound of My Voice together. Her films usually have a sort of thriller kind of feel. Um, they take on really contemporary issues and are so relevant, and The East is such a relevant film. And, I don't know, hearing the like plot synopsis of this film, it's a little intimidating because I'm not... I'm not always so comfortable with films that are taking on really political themes not that I don't understand, but some of these films can come off very confusing and just not really for the average viewer. But The East was so easy to follow, so enthralling, so, so just, it just opened your eyes to so many issues that, you know, you don't really think about, or at least I haven't really thought about. It's a film about eco-terrorism and this group called The East who are basically targeting all these big corporations and, and anyone who's really done anything that's really hurt our environment and, like, for example, pharmaceutical companies or, you know, water companies with, um, who are, like, dumping oil into the water and, and killing animals and, like, oil spillages and all that kind of stuff. And Britt Marling plays Joan who works for a private intelligence firm and she's kind of undercover and participating in this kind of cult, the East, and spying on them. But it becomes this conflict of, of her as a professional and as someone whose job is to stop people from doing this and to expose them and the fact that she sort of kind of understands why they're doing it and and sympathizes with them and and sees their point of view. This film features really great performances. As I said, Britt Marling is just such a great actress. Hopefully her films, which are pretty small and independent, hopefully they can be more recognized by a wider audience because they all of them really deserve to. Um, and then we have Alexander Skarsgård, who plays the leader of the eco-terrorist group, and he does, a, he does a really good performance in this film too. He's also you know, a kind of underrated actor. He's famous for True Blood, but he picks really good films to be in. I mean, the, between The East, Disconnect, Melancholia, off the top of my head, he really goes for the more, you know, plot-driven kind of films. And this is a movie where he has a bigger role than I've seen him in other movies, and he does really well with it. Uh, Ellen Page is in this, and she's really good. She's also really great with picking good roles and... She is really great in this film. And then with Britt Marley and her films, they're so small and independent. This is probably one of the bigger casts I've seen in any of her films. But some of the other actors are people I've never heard of. And they're all so good. Like, these are people who deserve to be in more movies. Um, Toby Cabell, who plays Doc, he's he was a really great actor. And Shiloh Fernandez, who plays Luca. And basically everyone in the cast is really good. Patricia Clarkson's really good in this film. I mean, she's always good, but... Um, and this film had a really, really good opening sequence. Just like the first like two minutes of the movie were so... draws you right in and so intense. And this movie is filled with intense, like, edge-of-your-seat moments. It just really pulls you right in and... It makes you so aware of things in the world that you might not have been aware of before, which is kind of crazy. And as I said, it's just, it's so relevant. I really enjoyed this film. I think it's a great 
you know, kind of political thriller and it takes on a topic that you don't really see covered ever. I don't think I've ever seen a film on eco-terrorism and it does it so well and so smartly and it has twists and turns. The ending was a little underwhelming to me in comparison to like the rest of the film. I think like it, it ended well but I wanted something a little bit more hard-hitting which actually with Britt Marling's other films, Another Earth and Sound of My Voice, they both end really like ambiguous and kind of like punch you in the gut like right when it ends which I really really loved those films for. But yeah that's about it. The East. I definitely recommend it. I'm giving the film an 8.5 out of 10. It's playing very very few places but if you get a chance watch this film. I think it's really important and necessary and will just open your eyes to so many things in this world but at the end of the day it's still like a really human film that brings out a lot of emotion and and has really just great acting and writing and directing and all around just everything really good <laughs> really good in this film so yeah thank you so much for watching if you've seen the film please comment I would love to discuss it with you and if you like what you see please subscribe thanks so much